point. Hear ye, hear ye. Augustus Caesar has declared a census. All native people should return to their hometowns to be counted. So it is written, so it shall be done. <laughs> Amen, brother. So Joseph went up from the town to Nazareth, in Galilee, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, <laughs> who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I know you are heavy with child, but we must go to Bethlehem for the census. Yes, Joseph, I know the journey will be long and the Lord will be with us. Quite a short skirt you have on there. The long journey. Yeah. Oh. George here. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm here. I'm coming. Hold on. We have been traveling for a long time. Do you have a room for us? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. The room's all full here. Yeah, please move on. She likes to go that way, Mike. Whoa! What happened, Mike? Quick work! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's not yours either! <laughs> I'm so sorry, uh, there's no room. We are all booked. Uh, why don't you try next door? Can't do it here. Unbelievable! This place is almost wall to wall with people. I don't think you'll find any room available in this town. But you should not be traveling anymore this late in the evening. If you don't mind, you can get some rest in my stable out back. It isn't the most comfortable place, but at least there will be a roof over your head. And the animals are wonderful. They will not bother you. You couldn't memorize that. <laughs> <laughs> my wife must have some rest. The stable will be fine. Well then, follow me. That's a great beard. Very good. Yeah. I know God is with us. It is much better to sleep here than outside. Joseph, I don't feel very well. I'm having this pain. I think the baby will be born. <laughs> Please, Mary, lie down here on this nice bed I prepared. It won't be long now. <laughs> While they were there, the time came for the baby. <laughs> While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. Oh. Oh. She wrapped him in Swaddling. royal clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end. That's right. Nice. Meanwhile, some shepherds were tending their flocks at night, when suddenly an angel appears <laughs> right before them. An angel appears. An angel appears. It's Elvis. <laughs> all right, all right. Ow! Yes. Behold, I bring good news of great joy for today in the city of David. There is born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you, and you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to His people on earth. Oh, and where's our shepherd? Our three kings. Let us go to Bethlehem and <laughs> see what the Lord has told us. <laughs> Let's tell our friends and all go. Praise God for this good news. Come on, it's a long journey. Uh, I'm impressed at the post. And so the shepherds, after... We're missing a king. Wait a minute. <clears throat> and so please. the shepherds, after the hearing shepherds. the angels, oh, went to visit the baby. Sometime later, three wise men... <clears throat> Saw a bright star in the sky. <laughs> well, he is from New York. Look, a star. <laughs> Look how bright it is. It is the sign, the wonderful sign, the king of the Jews is 